Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. In this video, we will talk about the standard hydrogen electrode that connected to another half cell and then we will talk about the standard electrode potential series and how it functions when we are talking about the cell. Okay, especially voltaic cell and electrolysis cell. Okay, so let's look at the setup first. Okay, now let's look at the setup of apparatus. Uh, how to determine the standard electrode potential for copper metal. So instead of using zinc, okay, like the previous video, so we are going to use copper. So this copper metal is actually the metal M. So ini adalah metal M. And the copper 2 plus ion is the equal solution for M and plus there. Okay. So you can use any salt solution that is soluble in water such as copper nitrate solution. The concentration must be 1 mole per decimeter cube same as the concentration for the acid in the standard hydrogen electrode. So now if you look at the uh, setup of apparatus and divide the setup of apparatus into two then. So you are actually having a two half cell. The left side of the cell is the standard hydrogen electrode. And then the right side of the cell is the half cell for copper metal. So this is how we determine the uh, electrode potential for copper. So during this reaction, instead of the copper release electron to form copper 2 plus ion, what happened is the hydrogen molecule will release electron. Okay, so hydrogen ni dia tak semestinya sentiasa terima electron. It does not necessarily that the hydrogen ion will accept electron. Okay, so in this case, the hydrogen will release electron to form hydrogen ion. So in this case, the hydrogen will act as the reducing agent and undergo oxidation. So this is half equation for oxidation reaction okay so the hydrogen release electron to form hydrogen ion so where the hydrogen ion goes okay the hydrogen ion will dissolve in the aqueous solution so it's just inside the aqueous solution so the electron then will transfer through the electrical circuit okay the wires and then go to the voltmeter and give reading for the potential difference. Okay, and then go through the electrode copper. And here, okay, the ion that accept the electron is copper 2 plus ion. So for half equation in the half cell of copper metal is the copper 2 plus ion. Okay, the copper 2 plus ion will accept the two electron released by hydrogen to form copper atom. So if you see this reaction like we uh, already discussed before, so this is a reduction reaction. Okay, in this case, the hydrogen will become the reducing agent and copper will become oxidizing agent. Okay, the oxidizing agent is the one that undergo reduction. Reducing agent is the one that undergo oxidation. And if you look at in terms of change in oxidation number, the oxidation number change from 0 to plus 1 for hydrogen and plus 2 to 0 for copper. So this is because the copper 2 plus ion is exists as ion but copper at, exists as atom. Okay, for molecule hydrogen, hydrogen zero because it exists as molecule. Okay, when it turns into hydrogen ion, it changes into hydrogen ion. So that's why the oxidation number changes during the uh, process. So this is how you determine the electrode potential for each metal in the standard electrode potential series. 
So if the metal are able to release electron during uh, the experiment, okay, so it means that the metal will become negative terminal and the value, uh, voltmeter value will give a negative reading. But in this case, if you look at the value of electrode potential for copper, the value is positive value because in this case, okay, it becomes a positive terminal. So this is positive terminal of the cell. If the metal is in the negative terminal, then the metal will get a negative value for the voltmeter. So now let's look at the standard electrode potential series. What is standard electrode potential series? Okay, this is how your standard electrode potential series look like inside your textbook. So actually, this is a very simple standard electrode potential series. If you Google around, so you'll see that there is a lot more metal or compound that we can insert into the series. But this is a very basic one. Okay, so if you look at the series now, so uh, the examples that I give you is uh, between zinc and copper, but uh, if you look at the textbook, it's actually comparing between the magnesium and silver. Doesn't matter. So let's focus on the metal that exists in the first part of the series, means uh, at the upper parts of the series, this area. So if you look at all this area, so this is all a negative value. So negative value of voltmeter means that they act as a negative terminal in the uh, experiment that I show you just now. So dia adalah negative terminal lah. Negative terminal. Apa maksud negative terminal ni? Negative terminal means that the metal easily release electron during the set up of apparatus means they easily release electron for example okay we can use magnesium uh, zinc uh, or any metal yang above the standard hydrogen electrode so if let's say i pick magnesium so magnesium is a very reactive metal so magnesium ni dia easily release electron dia memang nak jadi positive ion so dia akan release two electron to form magnesium ion. Same as zinc. So zinc easily release electron to form zinc 2 plus ion and also any metal yang above dalam standard hydrogen electron. Okay so hydrogen dia dekat tengah-tengah eh. Hydrogen is the reference. Sebab tu nilai dia adalah 0 volt. So hydrogen is that. So if you look at the half equation that I write at the right side here. So this is actually an oxidation reaction because ada loss of electron. Ada electron yang dibebaskan. So bila ada electron yang release means that they undergo oxidation reaction. So this is both oxidation reaction. So we can say that the metal will easily react or act as the reducing agent. So dia adalah reducing agent. So both metal here is a reducing agent. So what we can say that the higher the metal in the standard electrode potential series, the stronger the reducing agent. Okay, so means that they will act as a stronger reducing agent. So how do you memorize that? Just write Ra on the upper side of the series. So this metal, dia akan jadi negative terminal, easily release electron, undergo oxidation. So dia adalah strong reducing agent. So how about the ion yang ada dekat bahagian bawah standard electrode potential series ni? So let's say we take copper just now. So copper dia dekat bawah hydrogen eh. It's just slightly below hydrogen. So when we connect copper to plus ion, to the standard hydrogen electrode. Okay, standard hydrogen electrode tadi. So what happened is, instead of releasing the electron, so copper 2 plus ion accept the electron. So dia akan accept electron and form copper atom. So this is actually, okay, why the positive value is there? This is because it become the positive terminal. So tadi yang atas dia become negative terminal. Tapi untuk yang bahagian bawah dia akan jadi positive terminal because they have the positive 
value. So, dia akan jadi positive terminal. So, now I take another example. So, let's take the silver here. So, silver also at the bottom part of the series. So, silver will accept electron easier to form silver atom. So, both of this reaction is actually a reduction reaction. So, this is a reduction reaction. So, both of this ion, okay, dia sentiasa nak undergo reduction reaction. Always want to undergo reduction reaction. So, what happens? So, both of this ion actually uh, is a strong oxidizing agent. So, ni adalah strong oxidizing agent. So, saya label sebagai OA. So, both metal will act as a strong oxidizing agent. So, this is what it means when it draw a line going down and going up the series. Okay, going up the series, so the metal become more electropositive, readily release electron to form a positive ion. So, that's why they will become the reducing agent, a stronger reducing agent. However, for going down the series, so the ion okay, will easily undergo reduction and is a strong oxidizing agent. Sebab tu dia tulis dekat situ, the strength of oxidizing agent increase when going down the series and the strength of reducing agent increase when going up the series. So that is what mean by the arrow dah. Okay, so how they react towards a cell. Okay, sama ada dia nak release electron ataupun accept electron. But in the series, if you look at the series, it's actually written as a reduction reaction. Okay, dia akan tulis sebagai reduction reaction. Dan dia akan letak reversible sign there because this is actually a series. So, they can actually release or uh, accept electron depends on which metal or which compound they, they are, uh, they are, uh, kita panggil paired with. Okay, for example, kalau kita pairkan copper dengan silver, so obviously copper will release the electron, silver will accept the electron. Tapi kalau kita pairkan magnesium dengan copper, magnesium will release the electron and copper will accept the electron. So it depends on the half cell yang kita uh, letakkan dekat dalam circuit tersebut. Jangan risau nanti, nanti next uh, video saya akan explain about the uh, voltaic cell where uh, how this uh, negative terminal and positive terminal works and how can they be a reducing agent or the oxidizing agent during the reaction. So uh, don't forget to watch my uh, next video. Thank you.